Okay, so now you have your plant, and it looks like this. I mean, it doesn't have to have the same color, it doesn't have to have the same everything. Um, but it should look somewhat like this. If it doesn't, well, then maybe I want to go back to the first one and review the parts that you missed or things that I might have skipped over. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. Um, I'll try and answer them. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> okay. So now the next part is to make your, um, what, what do you call it again? Oh, yeah, yes, I'm sorry. It's called a plant, and it's a very nice plant. Okay, here we go. Okay, <laughs> sorry. So you want to add a cube. Once you have your cube, all you want to do is make it really tiny. Like, like really skinny, really tiny and cute. That's actually that's a little too tiny. I want to make it kind of thick, but like, like width-wise. Um, so... Down there, bottom left, remember, you can all see how I made it, what sizes I have it at. And then you want to make it skinny, kind of, to whatever size you'd like your plant to be. And then, same with the Z axis, just make it nice and small. Now, in order to make your life a lot easier, now, trust me in this, you want to do this step. If you skip this step, your life is going to be really hard. So, you want to add a material, and you want the material to be green, like a nice, ah, uh, that's a good green, I like that green, it's a little thick, one second. Okay, no longer thick, amazing, not thick, okay, uh, maybe want to offset it a little bit to the side, to give it kind of like a, I don't know, an artistic look, I don't know, do, do whatever you want to. Um, and then, once you have that, just duplicate this and move it up, and you can actually make it taller if you like, but for what I'm going to want to make, I'm just going to rotate that just a little bit, and then once you have it rotated using our rotate tool, um, in the left side, right on the move, right above the scale, hopefully you know that by now. <laughs> Um, once you have that, like, how you want it, you just want to rotate it to whatever angle you want it as. I kind of like it like that. And now you have your first stem, or leaf, or whatever. And then you, whatever you do, don't duplicate the top, duplicate the bottom. It'll make your life a lot easier. And now you can just, just I don't know, just make it however you want it to be, um... You don't really want to, you, the reason you want to do the bottom is you want, you can scale it here to whatever size you'd like it to be, um, but you can't, like, when you rotate it, it scales differently than how it scales when it's small. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so now we can just move this down a little bit. And we got a nice little start of a plant. Um, I want this one to be not as thick, a little thinner, however big you'd like it to be. And just kind of experiment. Like, just, this is ready. Just do whatever you like. Put that there. Put this here, kind of straight up the middle. It's a really sad plant. Uh, modeling it from only one side, so you want to look at it from a different angle. Make sure to do that. I always forget to do that. Because um, it's not two-dimensional, it's three-dimensional. After all, you're working in Blender. Of course you want to make... Ow, my knee. Okay, sorry for the interruption. I'm back and my knee is still in pain, but it's okay. And now, we have our sad little plant here. So, we're just going to keep modeling it. Do whatever you'd like, like I said. Um, I'm going to do this with you, just so that you're not going to have to pause it and do all that stuff. This is a really terrible plan. It's just like... Yeah. Okay, delete you, delete you, and you. You're... Man, you're a thick plant. <laughs> okay. 
make you skinny, make you skinny, make you a little less tall, duplicate, bring you up, make you shorter, rotate you, Yeah, I know, I have really annoying birds in the background. Alright, and to duplicate. I'm sorry that I skipped the duplicating part. Just press Shift D and you can duplicate your object to whatever size that you want. I mean, sorry, you can duplicate your object by pressing Shift D. Um... go we're just gonna make this a really simple plant kind of just just a quick one here there we go it's all very small make just just click and drag make it bigger nice big plant that's way too big And it's really, really short. <laughs> um, Alright. Yes, also, um, if you want to scale, I can say you're scaling a circle for whatever reason. Um, I mean, a sphere. Uh, all you need to do is press S and then you can scale it to whatever size you would like it to be. Uh, like this one needs to be a little shorter and yes, I know it is a terrible plant. Um, uh, give it a little more angle. Maybe you want to make it look a little bit ridiculous and you want to hop into edit mode and just she just cannot play around with however you like it and here we can introduce loop cuts down here and size it to whatever size you really want it to be everything is your whatever you want to do is um, you can do whatever you want to do because you can and that's how that's how this works <laughs> yep so remember when you're in edit mode you can move stuff normally or you can extrude stuff extrude stuff just makes it bigger I'm not that exciting I prefer moving stuff um but because that I mean, that affects all the objects around it, so it makes it look like a little more natural if you're trying to make a plant, for an example. Um, I, this, when I move this down, it moves the whole plant. It does not move just one little section of it. It's a little bit more excitement into the mix. Right there, perfect. And then what you can do, once you have the plant that you like, Shift D to duplicate, S, scale it down to really small version, and rotate it. Rotate it to a completely different angle, angle um, using this blue little rotate one to get a nice size. And so you got that. Just move it somewhere else and duplicate that one, make it a different size, and 
Yeah, maybe, maybe we want this one to be a big one. No, wait, no. I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, maybe we want this one to be short too. Oh, dang, this one's floating. <laughs> And what, you want to watch out for that sort of stuff, that happens. And then, just like, these are very identifiable points that I put here, which is kind of annoying. Um, so, just go into edit mode, move these points around to make it a little, to make it look like you did not just copy and paste. Um, it's okay if it does look like that. Uh, it certainly does look like that for me. And you want to find an angle that you like. I like this angle. Um, this works pretty well for me. Oh, and remember, you can always see what I'm doing, what things that I'm touching in the bottom right. Um, if you don't know the buttons that I'm clicking, because I know I am definitely skipping over some stuff. Um, just because I forget about it. So. Once you got the view that you'd like, um, zoom out a little bit. Just use the normal scroll wheel. Don't click it down. Just scroll out a little bit. Um, and press view, align view, and then hold, keep your mouse on that. Drag it over to align active camera to view. Wait, <laughs> oops, sorry. I think I might have messed that up. No, I did not. Okay, so once you have that, you might wanna, I'm gonna move mine down a little bit to more of a side view of it. Remember, you can do this anytime um, you'd like. So once you have that, um, you just wanna press Shift A, Mesh, Cube, and then you want to scale this cube nice and big and really long. And then you want to move it over and make sure it just covers the edge of the plant. No more than the edge. We don't want that little open space there. And you can do that by doing that. And there we go. So this is the inside of what it looks like. Um, to make it easier, we're just going to press tab. Click on this face right here using our face select tool. X, faces, and tab. <coughs> Sorry if that was a little too fast. Um, and then once that's deleted, this side will be open and you can move this up to a uh, higher height. <laughs> okay. And once that's at the right height, you want to uh, go keep, in, keep staying in the materials, material properties tab for this whole video because we're not going to be going to anything else yet. Um, you want to add your material, let's change the base color over to a nice blue. I'm going to go with this. I think it looks good. And you can also press zero on your number pad, um, on the side of your keyboard if you have one and it'll align your, um, current view with the camera. Um, I'm going to change my view a little bit more here don't really like the way the camera is going to be because i know it's going to come next uh here we go i kind of like that more um there we go now uh next thing you want to do is right next to your viewport shading thing the half shaded mode as i like to call it um, there's rendered mode. Now, this is, if you're a computer fan, start going, it's okay. <laughs> um, you want to add a light and add a point. And you'll see, you'll get some light. And that's very exciting. And it'll probably be very bright and kind of hurt your computer. <laughs> um, but that's going to be in the next part of this member if you have any questions leave them in the comments and make sure you subscribe uh and remember also part three 
will be in the next part of the video and this is kind of a little uh, <laughs> part three will be at the end of this video and this is kind of a little sneak peek of what's gonna end up as